During last Tuesday's work session, Salt Lake City's council addressed their role in solving the child care crisis. I didn't realize that pretty much half the city now it doesn't allow daycares. I was pretty shocked by that. Council members are considering a zoning change that would permit daycare centers in all zones of the city and would raise the maximum number of children allowed in a home daycare from 8 to 16, which aligns with Utah state code. We've seen all over the state that this is a challenge and so for Salt Lake City to take this step is really important and hopefully will signal to other um, cities and counties that there are things we can do to make child care more accessible in our communities. Bridgette Weir with the Care for Kids Network says with COVID era funding for child care expiring last September, hundreds of programs could close. We are already seeing centers close, home programs close. We are seeing tu uh, tuition rates rise dramatically, which is forcing more families to choose one parent to stay out of the workforce, which does not help Utah's economy. Council member Victoria Petro expressed her support for the change, sympathizing with struggling parents. Were you able to find other child care or are they just hanging out in your office right now? They're just upstairs. Yeah. That's, that's what my kids do too. <laughs> I did find okay. other ones, but it's it's tough out there. Yeah, yeah, and so expensive. <laughs> the council is slated to hold a public hearing and take action on the zoning changes in March. In Salt Lake City, Jenna Bree, Fox 13 News, Utah.